The challenge is to find 10 items at this thrift store to list on eBay. $20 profit average is our goal. Let's see what we can find. I love the charity this thrift supports. If you've ever had a family member in hospice, the people who do hospice or raise money for hospice, they're angels. Uh, we're in the Snowline Thrift Store. That's one of three of these thrift stores. In the, this one's in Folsom, uh, California. The other ones are in El Dorado Hills and Cameron Park area. The Folsom location is the largest of the three where they consolidate the good stuff. Um, I'm scanning around. There's no racks here. They just put them right on the racks. So I'm going for coats first. Got to see what we can find. Um, in this thrift store, they've also started a boutique area, which we'll go to next, uh, where they put their higher value items. Uh, Folsom has got kind of more money than other communities in the area, so you can find nice things. But again, I'm here on a Saturday around noon, uh, so this is highly picked over. People have been here before me. I'll probably be lucky to find anything um, left on the racks but you never know you can't count it out uh, usually you can find some things and sometimes they even put fresh product out during the day so oh this is kind of cool an ocean pacific uh winter surf jacket um this thing they wanted 15 dollars for uh when checking ebay it lists as high as 50 dollars but there's 250 Ocean Pacific jackets listed and only three sold on eBay in the last 90 days. So while I thought it was cool, I didn't think I wanted to lock up $15 to wait for a sale um, when the more likely uh, sale cost is probably around $30 and it's probably eight to nine months plus down the road. But yeah, all the jackets here just have super high prices, so I'm I'm looking for just a really super high-end jacket that they might put a high price on, but if I can still triple, quadruple my money and it has a high sell-through, I would definitely uh, pay up for the right jacket. This thrift store also holds aside products uh, for special days, where, whether it's holidays or theme days like vintage uh, toys, uh, and they'll do a special sale where they make sure everybody gets two weeks notice and you come and shop on that day for those uh, held aside items um, but I would say that they do mark them up so you're paying up to get kind of rarer stuff uh, but it's still worth looking at over here in the men's jackets um, not sure what the F stood for here I was kind of checking it further I think it's some kind of baseball they wanted too much for it to even look it up. But yeah, jackets do sell well for me. I don't uh, find a lot of jackets because of the times I thrift. Um, but the, when I do find them, uh, they they sell really fast. So I like to look at the jackets first because it's a good turn of, turnover of investment, especially during the winter. Suits, I, I, I don't mind selling suits. It's a little bit more effort to list them, uh, but if you find a good suit uh, that's stylish, uh, you can get some good money. It's so my favorite part of the shirts. This is more the XXL plus side. Uh, so I'm always over here looking for uh, shirts that uh, not only can I resell, but shirts for myself. And at this thrift store, oh, there, here's a nice one. This is Tommy Hilfiger, uh, pink and white stripe. Um, the look on this is just so good that I, I'm not even going to look it up. I'm probably just going to pick it up. Um, but I'll flash what I bought it for. And here's the cost of shirts here. Um, not bad uh, for a thrift store prices. So no matter how high end of a shirt you get, there's a flat fee. From this point on, uh, while I 
search through different sections of thrift stores on any video. Uh, if I have recent what solds from that section, I'm going to start sharing them. So here I come with what sold. Uh, All right, this one's not a shirt, but a jacket that I got at a yard sale. I think I got this for a dollar, and look what it sold for. What a great price. If you haven't seen my recent Dixon video, um, I go through uh, 32 shirts of the Dixon brand, uh, what, which I'm selling for a relative. Um, so go watch that video. This is a hot selling brand. I have two in a row here that just sold. These things are on fire. Uh, you want to be looking out for these when you're in the store. Another Dixon, the teardrop. Look at the price, 55 bucks. Um, you want to keep your eye out for these, especially when you're getting them under a buy cost of around 15 bucks. This Nike Lamar Odom LA Clippers jersey sold for 35 bucks. This was on my recent video at Denio's uh, Swap Meet where I picked it up for $10 from one of the vendors. Flipped it over for $35, not bad. Now all the stories are gonna be rosy on this channel. Uh, this shirt took nine months to sell. I think I bought it for four or five bucks. It sold for nine. This is an exact example of what not to do. Don't sink five dollars, wait nine months to make four dollars when you lose a portion of that to the fees. Not good, don't do this. Be more uh, picky about your choices. Be on the lookout for Jimmy Buffett items. Ever since his passing, um, things have started to go up. I got that record for five dollars at a local uh, antique shop that no longer exists. Their prices are currently well over eBay plus shipping, but I found one vendor who had it for five bucks, turned it into 35. Records are hard to find, but I had to be creative. I got a storage locker that had two boxes full of old uh, rock and roll records. This Leonard Skinner was one of them. That $12 sale was the low end of the records I found. You can never go wrong with Prince. This is the second time I've sold a Prince album. The first time was for $20. I took an offer on $12 for this time. Uh, but still a good flip when you get it for a buck at a yard sale. If you're new to reselling and you heard about Mug Life, I would just warn you uh, to go light uh, and uh, take your time. I found this Laurel Birch mug for a dollar. It sold for 12 but it took a while to sell. The San Antonio uh, Starbucks Skyline Series mug sold for 10 bucks. Not the grand thing you're wishing for. Um, the Icon series is the Starbucks mugs that really sell in the $30 to $40 range. Keep an eye out for those. This Osprey uh, Boeing Defense uh, and Space mug from 1992 is exactly the kind of unique mug you're looking for. That or old pharmaceutical uh, type mugs, those sell for good money. This Lauren by Ralph Lauren shirt was a recent thrift store find. Let's just say I paid under $9.99. I can't remember the exact price but you probably watched that video. So, and I started making videos a month ago, so it sold within 30 days. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The St. Andrews golf polo is another what not to do. I think I paid $4.99, $5.99 for it, sold it for 11. Uh, it, and it took a year to the day almost to sell. So not doing that again. Look at the sell through rates. Um, I thought, I watched one golf polo video and thought I could just source any golf polo. Was totally wrong. Sell through is a thing. Look it up. You can see in this thrift store, um, it's just, these are all the plain shirts. This has been picked through. If you want to find the best shirts at this thrift store, go during the weekdays when everybody's at work. Uh, when you find out what time they're putting out their shirts and be the first person there. They have quality shirts that show up here that sell for a lot of money. I love coming here and finding quality shirts, especially when you know your your buy cost is fixed at $6.99 for the shirts. You see me up top there, I'm looking at hats because they also have hats as well. But you gotta be strategic to um, get the best things uh, for your store. So I'll do your competitor, be there first, do the research, um, and make relationships where you can. It's all important to being a reseller, but definitely be strategic. Not every day is gonna be your day in the thrift store, but another one sold for me, a cool plaid flannel uh, that did really well. I got it for $7.99 at Goodwill, and it sold within 30 days.
not too shabby. All right, have you guys been watching? Have I missed anything uh, really valuable? Put it in the comments if you saw something that I should have picked up. I know it's flipping through here fast, but I didn't want to bore you guys forever um, with just long video of me flipping. Definitely uh, always open to hear about brands I should be on the lookout for that I'm not tracking. Uh, and I want you guys to get the help as well. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the like for me. Uh, it does help my video and the ratings uh, get seen by more eyeballs. This shirt is uh, t-shirts, print t-shirts. I come over here looking for more like band shirts and uh, all over print, hip hop, culture, 90s era, single stitch, um, but more than likely I'm not going to find it here. Uh, so I'm just looking really quick to see if there's anything cool uh, before I move on to another section. Here we got some jeans, pants, more coats. Got to keep checking the jackets. There's a Packers jacket, but they wanted 20 bucks for it, so I passed. Uh, the price of jackets here has gone up and up and up. All right, we're in the kind of appliances section. I don't do too much shopping in this section. Um, I've tried my hand at a little bit of this, especially with doing storage lockers. Um, it really is brand specific and you got to find the hot model. Uh, just picking up any old thing or trying to sell any old thing uh, doesn't do well. It has to have a demand or it's going to be a waste of your time. Here's some coffee mugs. Uh, definitely looking for the higher end uh, thermoses and such. Some looked really nice, but they weren't anything special. I pass Tupperware now. I used to source Tupperware. Uh, salt shakers, wooden uh, wooden uh, salt shakers and pepper shakers. If you can find the set, um, some of them are valuable, so look those up. Totally worth your time looking them up. I don't like doing cookie jars or some of the other stuff, especially if it's multiple pieces of ceramic or glass. Um, I, but if they come with the boxes and all the packaging, then I'm fully on it. Um, but it's really nerve-wracking to ship a cookie jar that seems like it's going to break if you breathe on it. But I have made some good money on cookie jars, so. Um, but I don't see them every day anyway. A lot of miscellaneous stuff here. Not really what I'm looking for. But giving you guys a good idea of what you can find here. Here's the sports equipment. You can find bats, uh, baseball gloves, you want large adult gloves for the most part. Tennis rackets, there's certain kinds of tennis rackets, you're going to have to search them up, but more the pro kind of series tennis rackets um, in good condition, especially in a community like this that likes to uh, do tennis because they have a lot of money, um, be on the lookout. your camping gear you can find some good stuff in here golf balls sell well but uh, they don't sell fast unless you look, blow them out online um, so I would only source them for a buck or two and sell them for anywhere from 12 to 18 dollars and 12 pack or 18 pack some go for more but you and if you find vintage golf balls pick those up um, I've sold some like three packs of golf balls for like sixty dollars for some very old golf ball so if you can find some in a garage somewhere pick them up kind of your uh, calculators electronics they want like that that uh, receiver up there they want like thirty dollars for it so I'm just like it's overpriced um, definitely I'm more sketchy on electronics it takes a lot of time to test them uh, the customers could return it, send it back. Uh, if you never met my wife, Lisa, that's my wife. Uh, she's here with me trying to stay out of shot. But maybe one of these days we'll get her on the video with us um, so you guys can meet her officially. I'm handing off my shirt. Usually I'm the pack mule, so it's kind of nice to have somebody else carrying something while I'm going around still looking. 
also fun for us to get out and uh, hang together uh, while while uh, trying to make some money. This was a sealed uh, box. I never heard it before, but um, when you find stuff that's new sealed in the game section that you don't know if it's cheap or not, look it up. Uh, for for all you know, it's worth thirty dollars, and if they're only asking five, it's a good flip. And if you do Amazon FBA or Amazon um, FBM, uh, you probably can even get more money than that. So don't sleep on the sealed stuff because um, some of the stuff that's open, I mean, you got to check every piece. There's a lot of time involved, and people will try to whittle you down and get you to let it go for next to nothing. So I'm not a big fan of games anymore. I try to stay away from them. There are a couple games that sold really well for me when I was focused on games. There's some art over here in the corner. I don't know a lot about art yet. It's definitely uh, something I want to work on. Kind of a cool elephant there. But I think I want to take like an art history class or something. I want to be the uh, get the Dr. Lori skills where she can look at one inch by one inch piece and know who made it in what era uh, with what technique and who the artist probably was I mean it's just crazy how much she knows um, just from looking at one little inch uh, of a painting it's probably like a centimeter but um, impressive that's a lot of research and knowledge in one person Always looking for uh, glass votives, uh, any type of cool votives, um, glassy baby. Um, I like Kirkland brand stuff, especially if they're with the box. Um, those three candle sets um, in, a, in a Kirkland box that are still with the styrofoam, um, I usually can get about 40 to $60 to $100 for those. Um, so just be on the lookout. You never know what you're going to run into. There's a lot of stuff here I don't know a lot about. Um, and you'll see on this channel, I won't talk about something I don't know about. Um, just not my experience. I'm only sharing what I, what experience I do have um, in the areas that I do source. There's more golf balls. They wanted about what I would get for it. Um, so there wasn't enough meat on the bone to really sell the golf balls. But if you were a golfer, that's a great pickup. Definitely shop your local thrift stores for golf balls if you're a golfer. I don't pay new on almost anything anymore. Rounding out over here, um, they have some holiday stuff if I remember. Um, more breakables. Yeah, that's this heart. I stared at this heart for a while. I was hoping it was like a Murano glass or uh, paperweight signed by somebody but it just looked like some folded art glass um, the top wasn't probably done so well but it was cute enough for Valentine's um, but not something I put in my eBay store let me know if I if I messed up and that was worth money oh there goes some new product going by and then the CDs I'll start flashing up CDs I've recently sold um, I love finding CDs and selling CDs. They don't take up a lot of space and you can get some decent money if you find the rare ones. Um, one of my recent sales is this Blind Melon CD. Not a high sell, but when you buy bulk, sometimes uh, I'll list for $5 to $10 range uh, if I think it'll sell well. Another bulk buy find, the Jackson 5, uh, $10. Remember I said don't sleep on Jimmy Buffett, especially when they're live in some type of location. They seem to be selling for a higher dollar. Um, be on the lookout for Jimmy Buffett. This signed straight line stitch came out of my honey hole at the Denial Swap Meet uh, where I shared in my last video. Also got this next uh, CD squeeze from that same place. Uh, did really well. I get everything there for a dollar. Um, selling CDs for around 10 to $12. Uh, not a bad turnover. This is definitely not my day to find a lot of product, but um, I love that I'm sharing these what solds with you because it's blocking my belly uh, from the video. Uh, when I do this Alita Adams CD, uh, when I do a bulk buy, which that was from, 
Um, every CD is about 10 cents. I don't pay over 10 cents for CDs uh, in a bulk buy. Um, if I'm cherry picking, I'll probably uh, do a dollar plus, but definitely bulk buys is 10 cents. If you watch one of my recent Goodwill videos, I snagged this Scooby-Doo snack tracks uh, up for, I think it was $3.99 or $2.99. Uh, and sold it for over thir for 30 bucks. You can't go wrong with that. Um, but I will tell you, you can spend all your time looking through, and if you don't know how to look through CDs, it is tough to get a level of knowledge to be able to not waste all your time here. Um, so definitely look into uh, doing some more research or take somebody's course like I did. Um, I had a level of knowledge already from doing it on my own, scanning for Amazon FBA and other things. But then I took so many scores and it took me to the next level. So shout out to Jason Thrift's course who I took. Uh, helped me come find um, how to get through these areas a lot faster uh, to find better items um, to put in my store and obviously make some money. Another bulk, bulk buy uh, CD, Treme Season 2, and it was sealed. And look, I only got $5 for it. So CDs... Uh, absolutely can be of no value um, it costs more to ship them than you'll get uh, so you got to be very careful what you do pick up now by Peter Frampton another uh, bulk buy 10 cent purchase uh, sold for five bucks I'm gonna spare you the rest of this video I get through this I put aside a bunch of CDs to look up I look each one of those up none of them meet the criteria for my store so I move on. I only get one out of ten items uh, at this thrift store. Um, and this is two, my second thrift store of the day. The other one was the video before this at the upscale thrift store. So now I have two items to put in my store. But I need to source 70 over the weekend. Um, so i got to get over to another Goodwill, which is going to be my next thrift store. And I do find some stuff at that thrift store. And this is the morning I started at the... Um, Folsom Boulevard Flea Market. So this is, you know, I had four stops in the day today, uh, and I do source a ton of stuff uh, for my store, but definitely wanted to share uh, those, those results with you. Um, so thanks for supporting my channel and watching it all the way through. Um, I want you guys to always feel like you can ask me any questions in the comments. Um, join my Facebook channel if you haven't. You can ask me questions there. Um, but until next time, keep uh, researching, have fun, and most importantly, be kind.